Uh, now I would like to take a moment and introduce you to Dr. Richard Garassi, our president. He has been the president at Wagner for 13 years, and five years prior to that, he was the provost. He is the person who has brought the vision of the Wagner plan, and I've had the opportunity to work with him for even longer than that at another institution as well. And he is one of the most caring and committed individuals to making sure that all of you have a good experience. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I have to go Welcome. It's delightful to uh, have you all here today. This is the spirit of Wagner. You saw it all day long if you were moving in early this morning or after the day this picnic we're about to have in a few minutes. This is a community. It's a very special community, a very caring community. We will challenge our students to think for themselves. We will push them hard in terms of academic learning and maturity and the like, but we also put our arm around our students. We care deeply about them. They're our, they're our treasure. So I'm so happy you chose Wagner at the end of the day. Um, I'm so happy to be at Wagner. My wife Karen is here. She teaches in the education department. And both of us have really so committed to this institution. I teach a course myself in the fall for honors, an honors um, seminar. Uh, so I get to be with the students as much as I can as well. And if you see me in the dining hall or on campus, I know it's not cool when you're in high school, but it's cool when you're in college. Say hi, tell me what you're doing. I'm gonna ask you one question all year long. What three things do you like about Wagner that you wanna keep and grow? And what three things do you wanna change? Because we get our best ideas from our students. Um, as I said, this is a special place. This building behind me, Main Hall, was built in 1929. It was the first building, real, really the first real building at Wagner. There was a few buildings before it that preceded it uh, when it was just forming. The college, uh, the institution, I shouldn't say the college, the institution started in 1883 in Rochester, New York as a Lutheran seminary, high school seminary, where the local ministers were really concerned about the onslaught of immigrants coming into the uh, up, upper part of New York State all the way through the Midwest to Detroit, working in industry and felt that they were so, somewhat lost and needed assistance and they thought the best thing they could do is to create more pastors to take care of them. So they started a high school seminary. It became Wagner Seminary when a, one of the uh, benefactors of, the, of that seminary had a son who died before he could actually enter. He wanted to become a pastor. So they named the institution after that family. In, uh, in the late uh, part of the 1890s, there was an ambition by that board in Rochester to become a college. Uh, and they wanted to be a liberal arts college. There was no place to expand to in Rochester, New York. Now, on the 120th anniversary, I went to Rochester, New York. I used to live not far from there at one point in my life. And what, where, the college, where the seminary stood is a gas station with a very mean dog. So we're glad we left there. Uh, we came to a very rural Staten Island. It was just part of uh, New York City. The five boroughs came together in 1898. So this is in 1918. The seminary relocated here with the ambition of becoming a college. The land that we're on, part of the land that we're on, was owned by the Kennard family, the Kennard shipping family, hence Kennard Hall, on the other side of campus. That was their summer home. And uh, some, of the, some of the grounds were from the um, uh, Vanderbilt family, which is also from Staten Island. So the college has grown over the years from being this quaint little institution uh, to being, as you can see here from Ruta Statistics, an international as well as a national institution. We're very proud of who we are. The hallmark of our institution are essentially the following. We have a strong, demanding academic curriculum built around something you are a little bit familiar with called the Wagner Plan, where we try to put people together in cohort groups at least three times in their four years where they can see the relationship between disciplines by taking a couple of courses that are in separate disciplines but around the same theme. We try to take advantage of our New York City location by putting you in field work so you can see the relationship between what you're studying and the real world context for it. That's the Wagner plan in essence. Uh, and of course, as I said earlier, we are a very personal, caring community. You'll see that over and over and over again. You saw it today, and you'll see this consistently throughout the, uh, the time at Wagner. And uh, I, I pride myself on that personally. You'll see me in the dining hall and on campus at different places. Uh, as I said, please come up and say hi. I'll probably say hi to you before you say hi to me and ask you who you are and where you're from and get your story. And now this is where my staff hates this. If you can spell my last name, 
I can't spell my last name, but if you can spell my last name, Garassi, G-U-A-R-A-S-C-I. I am Garassi at wagger.edu. You can email me any time of the day you want. I probably am not the right person that you're emailing if you're jammed up in a situation, but I'll get you to the right place if you can't find your way there through the normal ways in which we teach you to use the institution and begin to take care of yourself. As I said, this is a special place. It has a real vision that all of our students will not only excel academically and co-curricularly and become leaders, the kinds of leaders that I think you'd want to become, the kinds of people who can enter any organization at any level and have the sensitivity to hear others, to bring people together across diverse backgrounds and uh, across diverse interests uh, and bring them together as the person who gets them to work in common uh, cause for extraordinary outcomes. That's what our goal is. We call that civic professionalism at Wagner. And we emphasize quite a bit our civic engagement program, both in classes and out of classes. There's a huge difference between community service and civic engagement. This is work that's strategic and pointed in partnership with others around us, either abroad or in this community here in, uh, on Staten Island or throughout New York City, the metropolitan area, many places abroad, as I mentioned as well where you learn again the relationship between theory and practice, and you also learn the values of becoming that kind of leader that our country so badly needs and the world so badly needs. It doesn't take much to see that the world is a, in a bit of a mess, and it needs young people like yourselves who can hear others, see others, and put people together in positive ways. And that's what our goal is here, to give you that kind of fundamental education. Uh, I would say if I can give you one tip, uh, because I may not see you again in this kind of format for a while, there's a big difference between high school and college, and I've been teaching for almost 40 years now and being involved in higher education, and I can tell you the difference maker is not intelligence. You, if we didn't think you could do the work, you wouldn't have been accepted to Wagner. Uh, it, it's not anything else beyond uh, really the simple fact. Those students who can understand that high school was highly managed time with very specific kinds of homework assignments and the like, but very managed time throughout the day, that's high school. College is less managed time that is managed for you, where you have lots of free time. And you need to be able to use that free time to do the coursework and to do the leadership involvement on campus that really becomes transformative in terms of growing into the person you want to become. So the ability to manage your time is really, really that I and of all my years of observation, I had many, many students who've gone out to great success. The difference maker is simply sitting down and saying, and I used to do this in the old world, pre-electronics, before we all had, you know, the world at our fingertips in, in smartphones and the like. As so I used to get one of those planners out, and I'd get all my course syllabi for my first semester, and sit down for an hour, and I'd put in every exam date that I had, and I'd back up three or four days and stay, I could have to begin studying for that at that point. I'd put in all my class times when my classes were meeting across the entire semester. I'd put all my, when my papers were due and the kind of time I needed beforehand to get ready to do them. Uh, and if I had clubs and organizations, which I hope you all will have, uh, I would put the time in on meeting with them. I'd put some fun time in there each day as well. But I'd look up after an hour, an hour, 10 minutes of doing that, and I would have planned out my days, including some free time for myself, but I would have essentially created, managed my own time, and be, being able to just say, when you're high or low, all I have to do is stay on the schedule I built for myself, I will be successful. And you will be, because you'll have done the work, you'll have put the time in. As you'll see, the faculty here are incredibly committed to their students. We pride ourselves in those relationships, so people are going to be behind you to get you to understand those things which are at first confusing. And that's the difference maker. So it's the ability, to, in a sense, if I could put it in a larger context, in college you're beginning to write your own story. In college, you're beginning to take charge of your life. You learn that over the four years. In, in college, you, you're, you realize you're directing your own movie, okay, as opposed to having it directed and you're acting in somebody else's movie. And the quicker you can grasp that, the quicker you can understand that about yourself, um, is the, the more successful you'll be in college. So I look forward to seeing you. We're going to have a little picnic afterwards in a few, in a few minutes uh, and be able to get to meet more of you uh, personally. And uh, I know there's a series of things that are going on after me, but I have the pleasure of introducing to you our provost, the dynamic Dr. Lily McNair, who uh, has been with us now three years and who's our academic leader and is just a little dynamite, as you'll see. So here's Lily McNair. Good afternoon, everyone. 
It's so beautiful seeing you all out here. This is a beautiful day, an important day for all of our families here and our first year students, and one that I know that you'll remember always. For me, it's a day that's only surpassed by commencement, which is the only other time we see the seats lined up on the Oval and welcome families and friends and students here to commemorate and celebrate your graduation from Wagner in 2018, May of 2018. So welcome, class of 2018. We've been busy these last several months preparing for your arrival here. And I want to say a few things about the academic program here. I want to start out with the great news that we've just hired seven new faculty members from fields as diverse as biology and sociology to economics and nursing. They bring great energy and dyna dynamic perspectives on their disciplinary areas, as well as their commitment to the Wagner plan, which I'll say a little bit more about later. We're also launching this fall our first ever doctoral program, the Doctorate in Nursing Practice. So we're really thrilled that our Don and our Evelyn Spiro School of Nursing is now going to be training doctoral level students. We're also beginning a new program in our MBA uh, strand focused on media management in an effort to really keep abreast of the ever-changing world of digital media. So we're really pleased to be welcoming new students into this arena as well. And I'm happy to say our faculty are working on developing a film and media studies major and concentration. So there's lots of exciting things going on. But President Garasi talked about the Wagner plan a little bit. And I want to say a little bit about it before I introduce Dean Patricia Tooker, who oversees the entire Wagner plan. Many of you know that the academic curriculum at Wagner is really, really developed around our very distinctive program, the Wagner Plan, entitled The Wagner Plan, The Practical Liberal Arts. This is an academic curriculum that weaves together theoretical knowledge within disciplines with experiential learning in applied settings. Let me say that again, because that's quite a mouthful. We weave together theory within disciplines with experiential learning in applied settings. So in the first year, each of you will be part of a learning community that's taught by two professors in two distinct disciplines. You and about 19 other students will take three courses together. One course with one professor, one course with the other professor, and then another course called the Reflective Tutorial, where you really integrate the perspectives you're learning in both of those courses and apply them to real world situations. So for example, last year, I taught a learning community as a psychologist with Dean Tooker. And we, I taught Psych 101, she taught a, a course on health issues, and we focused, focused on psychosocial factors involved in health and health disparities. So we brought each of our unique perspectives to address an important problems and issues within our society. And that's what's unique about the Wagner Plan. We really focus on interdisciplinary approaches to learning. Because if you think about it, all of the major significant problems and issues that we face as a global community require us to have perspectives from different areas, whether we're talking about energy and sustainability issues, whether we're talking about health pandemics, peace, or world hunger. It's very rare that we will see only one unified perspective in an effort to solve those problems. So we really focus on exposing our students in a very real way to interdisciplinary thinking and approaches, and it gives them opportunities in the real world to apply this knowledge. It's a great deal of work. It's a great deal of fun. 
as all of us get involved together in this exploration. You're going to be taking courses here that you will never see on any other college campus because our faculty create these courses to address unique interests and needs. So I'm excited for you as you begin to take part in your learning communities. This is the core of the Wagner Plan. This is the core of how we train our students to be the civic professionals that President Garasi has referred to. So to each and every one of you, whether you come from as far away as New Zealand or around the corner in Staten Island, or maybe from Chicago or Texas, we welcome each and every one of you. We look forward to getting to know all of you, and we wish all the families well, as you know that you are not dropping off or leaving your students with us, but you are connecting your students with us, the Wagner family, as we begin this journey together. So at this point, I'd like to introduce Dean Tucker, who is Dean of Integrated Learning and Associate Professor of Nursing, who will talk to you in a little bit more detail about the Wagner Plan. Thank you for coming today, and I look forward to talking to you afterwards during the picnic. Thank you, Lily, and of course, Richard. Following Richard and Lily, I don't know what else there really is to say other than the fact that the 19 learning communities with almost 40 of our faculty has been a work in progress. I am responsible, as Richard and Lily have told you, to oversee the Wagner Plan for the Practical Liberal Arts. I am the matchmaker for the faculty as well as the community partners, along with many of the colleagues, of my colleagues that are either here or will be here on Monday morning. How exciting to have 19 learning communities with such wonderful titles as American Dreams, Leadership and Innovation in a Diverse Nation that will be linking a history course, Leadership in the Face of Conflicts, and Government, American Government or a course such as a learning community such as politics and theater, literature and film, linking a government course with a public speaking course, or something like society and the city, linking a government course with a sociology course, and on and on and on, 19 wonderful learning communities taking the concepts that were just described to you and putting them out for the students to choose over the last year as you were getting ready to come to Wagner. Many, many, many colleges have learning communities and interdisciplinary teaching and learning, but not like Wagner. I've been at Wagner for so many years working in the capacity of a faculty member and now as a dean and I am so confident in standing here to say to you that you have made the right choice. A recent publication indicated that liberal education provides both broad knowledge in a variety of areas and knowledge in a specific major or field of interest. It also helps students develop a sense of social responsibility as well as intellectual and practical skills that spanned all areas of study, such as communication, analytical and problem-solving skills, and a demonstrated ability to apply knowledge and skills in real-world settings. As a backup to that publication, a, a very large survey was done by employers recently. 94% of employers say it is important to provide this type of education for today's students and 51% say it is very important to do so. So you've made the right choice. I am so happy to meet all of you, class of 2018, as you enter into a wonderful environment where we will, I am confident, prepare you to be the person, the professional, and the community member that the world needs. Welcome.
Okay, so now you're going to hear from one of our students, our Student Government Association President, Jessie Lynn Leston. She's a special education and sociology double major, and she's a senior from Brooklyn, and she's gonna have a few words of welcome for you. Okay, guys. I'm not that great of a public speaker as them. Okay, here we go. So like she said, my name is Jessie and I'm your student body president. I'm from Brooklyn and I'm a special education major. So I'm just gonna give you a little bit of information about the SGA. So the Student Government Association, otherwise called the SGA, is the official representation of the college for, stu for student or group concerns. We work with the students faculty and administration to improve our campus and we're the governing structure for all the, all the organizations on campus. So that include uh, academic clubs, honor societies, fraternities and sororities as well as specialized groups. So we challenge student issues to enhance the campus. So from big ideas to small ideas, nothing is too big or small. And the student government works really hard to take your praises and suggestions to make Wagner a better place than it already is. Okay, so today is your first day of college and I'm sure you've heard from 100 people that uh, it goes so fast, You're gonna, it's gonna happen in a blink of an eye. And I really wish that they were lying when they said that because it's very true. I feel like my freshman move-in was just yesterday and all the upperclassmen moved in my stuff and I thought, wow, this wasn't, that wasn't even that bad. That was so easy. And it definitely is quite the opposite now. It takes me three days to move in. And my mom is screaming at me, pack lighter, in her Italian Brooklyn accent, which is pretty scary. And not as scary as moving in your first day freshman year, but it comes pretty close. So just always remember that everyone is nervous. We're all on the same boat. So everyone is nervous and excited and scared so just have fun so I have a couple of words of advice three actually so first is to just be yourself be silly and be crazy and just be you because Wagner is far from normal I promise you that so <laughs> we're fine <laughs> um, second is to not write anybody off I remember when I walked into my room freshman year as my roommate Daniela was posting a bunch of posters of Barbara Streisand all over my walls and um, she wanted the entire room to be color coordinated exactly to her bed sheet and I thought I think this girl might be crazy and <laughs> now we're the best friends ever and she's actually in my sorority so you just never know what's gonna happen uh, my last piece of advice is to just get involved so join every club or organization you think that you even have the slightest, slightest interest in. And you can join all those at club fair. Don't ever knock it until you try it because you might love the club, you might love the people, or you might love both. And if you want to create a new club, you can contact me. I joined the student government when I was a freshman and every moment since I fell more and more in love with Wagner. I can only hope the same thing happens for you guys, whichever clubs you may choose to join. Freshman elections are this year at September 17th, and you can apply online or pick up applications in the SGA office. If you're not, you're all welcome to come to the SGA office anyway. Um, it's right in the union. You just walk down as if you're going to the cafeteria, and it's straight ahead. It's SGA right on the, right on the window. So um, Wagner is just a, it's a place where complete strangers become your best friends and all your teachers become your family. And I always knew that I wanted Wagner, but I never knew that I needed Wagner because there's a clear difference. And I needed Wagner to grow and to become who I am today. So, I hope the same happens for you guys, and I hope you have a great orientation and make lots of new friends. And I'm always here if you need anything at all, even just to talk. And I'm so excited for you guys. I wish I was back in your shoes. Have fun.
And now I'd like to invite up Christian Grotwild and Darnell Kenny, your orientation leaders. Welcome everyone to Orientation 2014. I would first like to recognize all the peer leaders. Please stand up and give, give them a round of applause. And because you guys have been such an amazing group of people, we really would like you to, serve, to share the stage with us. So come on up. I'm serious. <laughs> Okay. And also, we will be celebrating nine birthdays over orientation weekend, two of which are today. I would like to invite the following students up to share a cake as we sing happy birthday. How do I say the names? Kadea. Kadea Augustus, Lydia Sherman, Dominic Landu, Jeffrey Wismwecki, Nathaniel Como, Daniel O'Neill, Gabrielle Gustamachio, Hadley Patterson, and Alex Thompson. Maybe we shouldn't stand on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Oh, to get ready for the barbecue but I also wanted to just say that um, in one of the sessions that we did earlier we had some cards that families could write to their students and then we are going to deliver those cards over the course of this weekend whether your student is a resident or a commuter so I have those cards I will leave them here on the side of the stage and if you would like to write a note that you want us to deliver over the course of the weekend please do and then just put it back in the box and then we will get it out to them so thank you welcome and I think the food is open <laughs> 